Yeah, good evening, folks. Um, we're going we're gonna to review <clears throat> early this week where I've been writing a lot about, uh, you know, the European situation where I think since the market has risen so far, we want to focus on being long puts in case something goes wrong, which is the expected, it becomes the expected overseas and that uh, when you have 17 nations trying to do something, it becomes very, very difficult to get everyone to agree and you're going to have a lot of fits and starts and every time we get up we want to sell levels and here we're looking at the daily chart we can see that we had a multi-month massive resistance you can see look it took out did a shallow retracement which that's what we're looking for and we now are sitting up here we're sitting at a big resistance going back to 8.2 okay so again we're now expecting an announcement the uh, foreign ministers are meeting on Wednesday morning. They're supposed to put forward a plan. They said it wouldn't work last week. <clears throat> okay, so we're waiting for a plan. And basically, I want to be selling. I want to be buying puts at these levels. And then, in case I'm wrong, I want to be buying S&Ps against those puts. Now, I'm going to jump into the 30-minute chart. And here's where we are on Monday. Okay, now on Monday, okay, you can see we have a little divergence, not leading or anything like that, but a little divergence, a little crossover with divergence. We want to be buying puts somewhere in here. Now, I send that alert late Monday that we want to buy puts on, guess what, Tuesday. Because every day that goes by, the options get cheaper, premium erodes, and guess what, I miss a trade. Okay, be honest with you completely, I should have said just buy them. And if they go higher, just average in. Okay, because we already have divergence. Anyway, the puts hit three. Two days later, there's six. The meeting broke down. They postponed the meeting. Okay, so you can see what happened. The market went down. And then basically, the, the market rallies. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm saying in the background, we have very good news. They've reached some sort of agreement. 17 nations have agreed. They're going to cut the Greek debt in half, et cetera. They're going to do a lot of things. Now, this is a multi-year process, but what they've done is they've kicked the can down the road got somebody to agree, and so the European situation hopefully is off the table for the next couple of months. So now we can focus on our domestic product. Now, our domestic programs and problems, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm going to drop down to the five-minute chart. Now here, you can see my, <clears throat> my comments on late Tuesday. Okay, I want to look at puts higher. That's what I'm looking for. If the market's going to open higher because the market went down instead of up, you can see the oscillator is driving between jammed Okay, now don't ask me why it's overboard. It's really jammed here. Jammed. Okay, 44. We're looking to be long. Now, when the market gaps up, I send an alert email. Okay, we want to buy puts. Okay, why? Because we're back to the 200-day moving average. If I quickly swing to the daily chart, you'll see. Here's the 200-day moving average. Here's where we are in the gap. We're up right against, we open right against the 200-day moving average. Anytime we gap up against a major moving average, we've been away for a while, we're automatically going to sell it. Now, <clears throat> the difference is we have a major announcement. The advanced clients tend to one, but we're still going to sell it. See, Europe has a plan. Yay, economic data in line. Our economic data is in line. It's been in line for you know a couple of months now, and the GDP is better than people expected. And I've been saying all along, we're not going to have a double dip. Now, the 128 puts in an early alert before the opening, we're looking to buy them under a dollar. Well, they open at 57 cents, we're long. Okay, per pre-market alert. Now we go long. Okay, we get jammed. Beautiful, we get jammed. We come down about eight points. Right, this is not bad. We have a little rally, so we expect a little lower. Now here we come down to the mid-juni. We get a little retest failure of this. Now the puts hit 166. They're long at 57. Now, let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with taking it because in the manual trading Bible I talk about the first time back after being away from this kind of gap we buy the first time pull back to the mid uni so puts already paid for in two trades boom we'll, we'll pay for them in this trades three or four and if you're long you're in the chips may want to sell a few here okay basically I'm letting people know if they want to sell anyone calls up anyone says something in the chat room anyone who wants to take profit this is a, this is almost a triple guys Okay, it opens. Let's, let's say it opens at fifty. Make it sixty cents. Dollar. Hey, we almost tripled our money. You can you say goodbye. I want to hedge. Okay, so we never had an October this good. 
You know, remember, we have now had the best October in history, and we've had the best best month in 25 years. This is pretty bull, pretty bullish stuff. Okay, now notice the oscillator jammed 44. Sign of strength. We want to buy. Rally shallow, does a little retest failure, but we're still making higher highs. Okay, a little divergence there. The market goes sideways. We hedge again. Take a little profits. Take a little more profits. We're now making higher highs. See, ticks over 1200. The advanced decline line strong. When we get ticks over 1200 with the advanced decline line greater than 3, 4, 5 to 1, we're at 9 to 1. This tells me this is going to move for an extended period of hours. Not minutes, it's hours, two or three hours. This market is going to go higher. Now we can see it again, jam, so we take a little profits. Okay, on our long hedges, long, long. Now you can add back, see again, 72 cents. We can add back if you sold them at $1.66. Okay, if you sold some earlier. All right, look at this, comes down again, a little hedge. We come down to the mid-uni. Look at this, almost 44, sign of strength. Hedge again. See, puts force us to be long at these mid-uni pullbacks. And these oscillator readings back to 44, sign of strength. Using four long hedges, a big winner today. There is huge volume. The volume is like 5 to 1 versus any other strike. Both in the 28 call, 128 calls, and 120. So we're in the right options. Okay, remember, I like being long puts because I normally am not going to be buying some of these aggressively. But if you're long 50, 25, I mean, you start buying 5, 10 S&Ps. In here, depending on how many you're long, I mean, you're starting to make serious money. The market goes up, does a little retest failure. Okay, a little divergence. It never comes down. Hey, go, baby. This is really, look at this. The oscillator's back to 44. Where have you seen an indicator as the market's going higher, making higher highs and higher lows? It gives you every time to re-enter the situation. Here again, we're now back to new highs. Okay? Now the puts hit 46. Okay, we're down 11 cents. You can add some more. Okay, we're down 11 cents. Look at the market's blowing out. Okay, we've taken a 200-day moving average. That re that's really rare. Normally, we have 35, 40-point pullbacks when we go back to the first time, back to the 200-day moving average. But look at how strong this is. Look at this. Hedge again, mid-uni. Okay, add a few more. Hedge. So now, let's say you're long 50 uh, options. Well, you start, start you know, selling you know, anywhere from 10 to 20, you know, start buying, I'm sorry, buying 10 to 20 S&Ps. You're not going to buy 10 to 20 S&Ps if the market's making higher highs and higher lows on a 3 4 point pullback. But if you're hedged, you will. Okay. Now here. Now what's happening? We're starting, we're still 9 to 1. Hold puts overnight to hedge any weakness. Okay, again, look at this hedge. Look at the oscillator. The oscillator pulls back 3 or 4 points. And look at the, look at the oscillator. Well, I mean, a price pulls back 3 or 4 points. Look at the oscillator. We're right back to sign of strength. Okay, we buy it. We now are retesting that high of 8.2. I showed you on the daily. Now the puts are 32 cents. See, this is a better add. If you're long at 57 cents, you know, down 25 cents, you can certainly add. So you're starting to add. Maybe you add 10, 20, 40. All of a sudden you have a hell of a lot of puts around 35, 40 cents. Okay, hold puts overnight, any weakness. Look at this. You get lucky. The market drops 15 points. I mean, it's incredible. You, you, you buy, you short this. Even if you're long put, you can be short. You know, 3.30 is an end-of-day move, just like we teach. The market's probably going to sell off. The longs are going to want to come out. And what forces them out when the market comes down and can't rally, can't make a new high, it gets people nervous. You can start seeing people starting to sell this breakdown here. Okay, look at that big black bar. I mean, red bar down. People are starting to sell. Look at it. It drops 15 points. We correct 50% of this range. You know, we can't drop 15 points. I mean, guy, I don't have to tell you, that's $750 if you're short. But meanwhile, you're long the puts. You can, you can take some profits, but I'd rather hedge. I'd rather hedge this. Okay, we're 50. This rally back is about 8 points. That's $750. Oh, I'm sorry, $400. $400. You're long a 40 cent option, a 35 cent option. You're long two S&Ps. You're long three S&Ps. You're talking about making $1,200. I think that pays for a lot of options. You can see all these hedges in here. Okay, what I show you, depending on what you're doing, if you want to be really aggressive, you could be long four E-minis. E you want to be less aggressive, three, and if you want to do what we do when we say out of the money, two, look at this, hedging four, and it's $4,000 for 
for a $400 investment. You own 10 options, an average price of 40 cents. Here, hedging two nets $2,500 against a $400 investment. As I said, six because I originally took the 60, you know, the 50 cent profit plus commissions. I took that. But we know darn well we're adding more. Now, the day is over, but I told you to hold overnight. Okay? Now, what happens is look at this. Look what happens. Market goes down. I send an email, pre alert email. Market should be range bound today. Anytime you're up three, 400 points, the market's going to rest. I mean, there's no way you caught everybody on the wrong side. There are people out there that want to short, you know, rallies like that. I do. I mean, come on, we're jammed beyond belief. We're really up there. I mean, I want to short rallies. That's my nature. I want to sell strength. Okay, and I want to buy weakness. And in case I'm wrong, I want to hedge. Most people just buy puts and they lose money. I want to hedge these puts. Now, here I tell you early in alert email, this is the range. 1273, 1282. My God, that turned out to be perfect. I mean, every once in a while, a stop clock is right twice, you know, twice a day. Well, every once in a while, I get lucky and I give you the exact range, 10-point range. range. By the way, this is the first time we have not done a 1% move in over 70 trading days. It's incredible. 70 trading days over a 1% move. A lot of fun to trade. Every risk item is trading lower. So it's telling me if you're long oil, you're long gold, you're long silver, you know, you're long copper, you're long risk assets, they're selling off. So if the biggest groups, oil, you know, energy, all copper, gold, risk assets are selling off, it's going to be hard for the market to rally. Well, ADs are even. Look at they were 10 to 1 yesterday, they're even. Sell rallies. Okay, so we want to sell rallies. But here we want to hedge. We still want to hedge. Now, if you bought some at 32, you bought some at 47, you bought some at 57, and you want to take profits because you just made four or $5,000 per option, you want to say, ah, look, I'm walking away. It's going to be a nothing range. I'm not going to make any money on the options. Okay? Here, take them. Take the profit, 62 cents. Take them. I'm hedging. Okay, so anyway, make a long story short. Look, it hits even hits 20. can add some more. Okay? And then look what happens. Basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, nine hedges. We trade in that range I talked about. Look at that. Nine hedges. I mean, you're talking about if you want to add up all of this, all these hedges with today, and you want to add Thursday, and you're dealing with a 50 cent option, a 40 cent option, you're talking about almost $10,000 of hedging profits. Now, would you go out and do 20 trades? 15 trades, 10 trades, 25 contracts at a clip. No, you never do that in this environment. But if you have 100, 150 S&Ps, I mean options, the SPY options, of course you're going to do it. Because you have the protection. This is incredible. Look at, look at these trades. Look at this leading divergence trade. Look at this. This is, this is, I mean, guys, here, look at this. Here's the low, 77. Here's the high, 83. Six points. This is $300, guys. Three hundred dollars. You're long two options. Six hundred. You got a forty cent option. I mean, I don't have to tell you what the game's all about. This is and look at the trading range. It's not jam forty four, jam forty four, jam forty four, jam forty four. Look at overbought, oversold, overbought, oversold, overbought. Here we got one jam at the end of the day. Whoopee, it's over. But look at that. So what I'm showing you is here. We are at a point in time where I believe the market's going higher. The fundamentals. You know, if it weren't for Europe, I think our market would be 1350 already. Okay, so what you're looking at is a market that wants to go higher. Probably seasonally, it's strong. We just came off the strongest October in history. I mean, a lot of people are underperforming. The market, I believe, will go higher. But in case I'm wrong, I want to be long puts. And if I'm wrong, I get my hedge my brains out and I can make money. If I'm right, the market falls off. I'm long a lot of puts fully paid for. And I've got a great hedge against my portfolio. Anyway, I want to thank you for listening. Have a great day. And we'll continue putting out these educational videos and continue putting out the charts. And you're welcome to come in the chat room. I look forward to it. Have a great night. And thank you all.